G'day, my name is Chris McFlab, I'm Project Engineer at Vico Software. Welcome to the Schedule Planner Video Training Series Level 8. We're going to define procurement tasks. In this video, we're going to learn about procurement planning. We're going to learn why it's important to the production of our schedule and how we define procurement tasks in Vico Schedule Planner. It's important to ask ourselves, why do we have logistics plans? Well, we need to understand when the delivery of materials will be, how many deliveries will be required, the time and resources that will be needed. We'll also need to understand how these resources will be used and what their production impacts might be. Understanding the lead time, any storage and freight costs will all lead to a logistics plan. Procurement tasks are composed of organization of materials or subcontractor work packages that are able to be ordered from a supplier. In Vico Schedule Planner, we are able to understand that the following tasks will need to be commenced before a task can start. We must understand the design, any planning, documentation and calling for tender, evaluating the bid, ultimately signing the contract and delivering the order before any one task can start. The easiest place to create procurement tasks is in the bill of quantities. We can access this in the side navigation bar. In the bill of quantities menu, select the procurement from the task type drop down list. We can now select a task from the listed tasks in the free quantities. We would start by highlighting a single or a group of tasks to create a procurement task. In this example, we're going to highlight all the reinforcing activities and then select the Create Procurement Tasks button. In this new Deliveries Quantities menu, we have a couple of options. We can see that the reinforcing tasks exist in our item list, and we also have a Compulment Task Type. The own task is work that will be done by the head contractor or direct labor. Subcontractor is work that will be done by the sub. And materials is materials supply only. We have the option here to select a couple of these tasks. So in this example, we're going to deselect the own task and select the subcontractor and material. Click OK to enter the edit procurement tasks. We can now define this activity with a code and a name. We can then define the delivery dates. The start of delivery date is automatically selected, where the latest possible delivery date is just the default. We can customize the color of the task, add a responsible person. We can also select the monitoring unit. Finally, we can also select the supplier type. In the second tab, under the quantity data tab, we can decide how we will track the quantity of this procurement task. Within this, we know that our methods relate to our materials, where our resources relate to the people that will install them. This also holds true for our monitoring unit. Knowing that reinforcing will be measured in tonnage, we can select a monitoring unit in tons and select the structure method view. The events dialog box displays information on the scheduling of the events, such as the planning, tendering, contracting, and ordering, and delivery for the procurement task. In this dialog box, we're given the option to manipulate the delay in weeks, alter the symbol, change the starting date, and add a responsible party. In the dependencies dialog box, we will be able to define the dependencies of the procurement task. The additional dependency relationships required enable the procurement task to relate to more than one scheduled task. Because we've selected each of the rebar tasks, we can see that the dependency is automatically linked. Finally, we have the diaries tab which shows the records and this of the special dates of the procurement task. Note that by creating a procurement task, we have moved the free quantity rebar tasks to the new rebar procurement task. We can break down this rebar procurement task by breaking down the hierarchy. In this vignette, we've learnt that procurement planning is our first step to managing the supply chain. We've also learned that using location-based management systems, we can pull the procurement tasks to the scheduled activities. This means that we can calculate durations for just-in-time delivery, 